Central or Eastern Europe has become extremely interesting to many people because for a very long time we didn't know what was going on there. Uh, we were mainly concentrated on European, Western European or American art or maybe South American art really. Uh, and then uh, since 89 obviously things changed dramatically. My interest in the work of Jakub was really, uh, I saw his work here and there all the time and then at one point I just thought, you know, he is so talented that we should devote an exhibition, a one-person exhibition to his work. Uh, we've had a relationship with Jakob uh, Julian since uh, 2006. It's been interesting over the, over the years to see this development in the work. Um, you know, certainly the, the, art, um, the paintings are more ambitious uh, in scale. Um, and also, you know, the, uh, the landscapes and the kind of psychological portraits that have entered the work have become, you know, certainly more developed and um, rigorous, I think. You know, the artist's investigation of the psyche, um, you know, he's coming from a really interesting place, I think, and it's been interesting to see from one show until the next. And certainly in uh, the show at Parasol Unit, it's great to have an opportunity to see an overview of work from five or six years. I really find that the work of Jakob has to do, deals really with his own imagination. Um, this boundless imagination that's remarkable. He is a, an artist who has been uh, raised in a country like Poland with often difficult uh, past history. Certainly there is an element of humour uh, in Jakob's work. Um, there are some macabre themes that he's dealing with, but I think there's a universality to, to the subject matter that people recognise, whether it's you know, the kind of darker side of one's uh, self. I think it's really something he's, you know, he's painting from his imagination, but he's painting, I think, from somewhere that's a kind of honest place. It's really about the kind of human condition. In his work, there are plenty of skeleton and uh, plenty of uh, uh, the nature, of course. It, it, people have always talked how beautiful the nature in Zamosh is and how his early work has been influenced by that. And these little details, you see it always, this kind of vegetation that are like uh, lace everywhere, uh, you know, coming about. Uh, but uh, more than everything else, these details have to do with his own sensitivity as a wonderful artist and painter. You see works that are monumental and with what confidence he is just tackling every size, every subject and he paints these remarkable paintings. It's really, I don't know, it's just we, we can only admire such a painter for having done that. Despite the paintings uh, in some cases being on a much larger scale, there's still the detail remains. It's not as if they're an expanded version of a smaller, smaller image or a smaller painting. And still, what's interesting about those larger works is it still requires a certain amount of scrutiny.